Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about how we can find all the purchase orders that doesn't have a release strategy. That means it is not subject to release. Okay, So purchase order generally every company that uses procurement will have the purchase order workflows turned on because they need release strategy because they want to approve it before buying anything. But some cases they don't want to get any approval because it's an inventory P purchase orders which is auto POMRP purchase orders that are planned and all those things you don't want to. So how we can track those. So there in SAP everything you can do multiple different ways. This is one way ME2N you go. The first thing I go is ME2N this is the transaction code and here you can see there is no release strategy. That doesn't stop you from exploring further most of this transaction code will have this button dynamic selection now here you can click on purchasing document header now some companies have the release strategy in the header level or in the line item level it depends okay so most of the companies will have it in the header level so here if you scroll down there would be a there would be release strategy so here you double click on it once you double click if you 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 can double click on this and you want to find all the um, uh, POs that doesn't have a release strategy. So I'll just double click on it and click on single web. Okay. Now here and I will now execute. The moment I execute here, I will get again. This is for PO, so anything. So yeah, you can put, you could have selected the document category as F which is purchase order and it will it might show you stuff which is contracts and other stuff also so here you can see that's what i was talking about so you can see contracts and other other type of things that is there okay so what is lp um, what is l it's probably scheduling line or something okay so now what you can do here we did this and what happens is there's a disadvantage to it what happens is next time when you go there this thing sorry i moved to the wrong transaction wait i went per item category i should be going me2m okay and here if you notice that field again you have to select so what i will do is if you ever select this always create a variant okay so what i'm gonna do again i'll go here otherwise you have to do this again you don't get any value addition plus you might forget and all those things so here you can see release strategy, you select, you will do this and select this which is equal to blank and now I'll save it and I'll put a variant name. So I'll just put test. Okay. So what happens is if I save it now, now this is saved. So next time when I come in which was not happening before next time when I'm coming instead of selecting all these things I'll just click on my variant and I'll select test and here you can see this is active you get one if you want to select it you can see this will have this feature so this is very very useful that's one of the drawbacks for this dynamic selection and you can get rid of the drawbacks by creating the so that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. And if you like it, share and subscribe to it and have a great day.